Junior or Bram, depending on what era you grew up in. Last summer, Carl Ghetto and other members of New Era, a volunteer economic development organization, asked my father to donate land he owned in the center of New Waterford for a park. My father agreed volunteered to donate an even larger parcel, parcel of land than was originally requested, and with a glint in his eye, he requested that the park be named in honor of his mother's memory. The lots were the Schwartz family store, the Contour home, and Benny Epstein's store once stood. would once again be a vibrant This is much more emotional than I ever thought it would be, and I can't tell you how honored I am to see so many of you here with me today. I am one, as Heidi has said, of four remaining children of Rose Schwartz, to whose memory we dedicate this beautiful garden park today. My three brothers, Irving, Harold, and Bram, are here with me today, and I know I speak on their behalf in honoring you a brief memoir of our mother. By any measure, Rose Schwartz was a leading citizen of New Waterford. She had come to Canada from Russia with her parents, Joseph and Esther Kleiner, in 1913. Rose was 13 years old. Life in Russia for them, as for all Jewish families, had been very difficult. Anti-Semitism, which included periodic pogroms or systematic slaughters, had been regular occurrences in Tsarist Russia. Would you stand, Uncle Rosie? Four of her own children and a large assortment of grandchildren and great-grandchildren and nieces of all kinds, and her adopted son, Father Tommy McNeil. On their behalf, on their behalf, I thank everyone who has made this wonderful gift possible. There is no finer way that you could have honored her memory. Thank you.
Ray Jacobson and by her brother Sam who ran the cleaner store on Plummer Avenue. <laughs> Rose's two remaining siblings, Faye Magic of Fredericton and Mosey Kleiner of Sydney are with us today. They will unveil the plaque which extols their sister's virtues. The plaque will be placed on the Plummer Avenue entrance to the park. The permanent plaque which will be made of brass, has been donated by Rose's children and their spouses. to 1993. <clears throat> Young immigrant who fled anti-Semitism in Russia. Ardent supporter of New Waterford, the town that embraced her. Depression-era widow and mother of six children. Matriarch to a close and loving family. Astute businesswoman who built the Schwartz store on these memorial grounds. She is remembered for her courage, wisdom, humor, and quiet generosity. sponsored by New Era. There will be coffee and tea and refreshments made by the... Oh, sorry, I just realized that I missed one other item. Uh, we are now going to have the blessing over the park. Um, and I'd like uh, Father Tommy and the Dubinskys to please come forward. Father Tommy McNeil has a long history with the Schwartz family. His mother and aunt worked at the Schwartz store. Father Tommy lived for a while in an apartment above the quality store, and he also lived with Rose Schwartz at Gibbon Street while he attended college. In the spirit of ecumenical friendship, Father Tommy McNeil was the only clergyman to eulogize Rose at her funeral. Today, he will be performing the blessing for the park. After Father Tommy blesses the park, the Dubinsky family will sing a Hebrew prayer, Yim Lok, which means the Lord shall reign forever. The Dubinskys have been the perennial music backbone of Rose's place of worship, the Temple Sons of Israel. In Judaism, in Christianity, and in the water for it, the notion of community is extremely important. In Judaism, in Christianity, and in the water for it, it is not only what we believe, but also how we live that is important. In Judaism, in Christianity, and in the Waterford, our obligation to remember, 
to have a memory of our history is fulfilled by the retelling of our story. In New Waterford, Judaism and Christianity have lived and worked, laughed and cried, loved and lost as one people. This park will enable our obligation to remember to be fulfilled. As strange as it may seem to us now, there will eventually come along young children who will ask, who is Rose Schwartz? And maybe even ask, why is this park different from all other parks? And we will have the commandment that is the obligation to tell them. Tell them that this park not only bears her name, but like herself, is open to receive all with a gracious welcome, rejoicing in their presence with her, and happy to have people in her company, whether that was years ago in the store or now here, where she can still welcome, greet, and gather people into her presence. We will tell the youngest among us of her commitment to the people of New Waterford, how she loved to identify herself with this town, we will tell them how the things she wanted people to notice in life were the blessings of life, rather than noticing the things that were wrong with it. This blessing gives us a way of coming together with one another to amplify our response to who Rose Schwartz was to us individually and to our community of New Waterford.
dá para o mundo.
Sons and daughters to explain our. 